My grandfather was born in the Ukrainian countryside in 1925. My grandma, who appears in the film, she died four years ago. So like, it's the only um, video footage I have of her. It's, it felt nice seeing her. Hi, I'm Daniel. I'm a camera technician and I got my start at RealWorks. When I got to RealWorks for the first time, I got to, you know, hang out with people who had a similar interest and level of seriousness that I did. It feels nice knowing that I can like walk in and like feel welcome and see familiar people who know me. I don't know if I would have ever made a film without going to RealWorks. And that's that's a hard mountain to climb. So I don't think I would, ever would have climbed it without, uh, without RealWorks. Now, you know, I've gotten to work on this wonderful film. My director, uh, Olga, as a DP on a documentary being produced by RealWorks. And, you know, it's, it's been, been really great. And it wouldn't have happened if I didn't show up that day for the audition. My grandfather was born in the Ukrainian countryside in 1925. He left school and went to work in a factory when he was 13. eventually became a history and literature professor and started a family. Dirty brick house. The house was eventually destroyed in an earthquake. The family was forced to move into government housing. Opportunities in the Soviet Union eventually began to dry up. My grandfather decided to bring his family to America. They arrived in New York in 1979 and slowly built themselves a life in the new country.
My grandfather worked as a locksmith. I was born in 1990. When I was five, he taught me to ride a bike. In the summer, we would ride through Prospect Park. Afterwards, we would go into the library and read. Before I went to sleep, he'd often recite me poetry from memory. On the weekends, we would go to museums and other places in the city. We once went to the top of the World Trade Center and took off our shirts while we stood in the wind. My grandfather loved the ocean his entire life. He'd take me with him to swim and to fish. Eventually became tired of living in a cramped home and moved out to an apartment in Sunset Park. He spent the last years of his life playing chess and drinking vodka with his friends. My grandma lights a candle on the windowsill on every anniversary of his death. If you like this video, make sure to hit like, comment, and subscribe to keep up to date with all of our Realworks YouTube videos. And don't forget to watch the films of the next generation of filmmakers.